Hello and welcome to another video from Squad. Now I know not everybody actually goes onto the forum and looks at things on there, so I thought I'd just give you this really quick monthly recap. The actual hotfix has come out with a few things and we'll have a look at what's been in the hotfix. But let's just get on to the update, uploaded by Chuck, how much Chuck and Chucky Chuck Chuck? I've no idea. But let's get on with it anyway. So here we are, the October 2015 update and let's see what the devs have been up to. We will be migrating into Steam in the coming months, meaning that we'll be able to output more regular builds and updates. Currently the process is once a month, it used to be every other weekend but now we have 24 hour access onto the servers and the Steam process will make it a lot easier for the devs to get updates when and wherever they want to. That's not the interesting stuff, this is where we get into the interesting stuff, vehicles. The groundwork for network vehicle movement and player interaction has been laid out mainly over October, however as we have found the native Unreal support for vehicles lacking in a few major areas, so we will be writing our own code to give support for ideally all vehicles going into the future. Once the system is in place we can allow our artists to literally bang out vehicles of all kinds with vehicle positions, weapons and configurations. Oh my god look at these. Now this one, apart from having this 50 cal on the back, these technicals are already in the game at the minute and you can find this red one with a red door near the mosque. Don't any of you in game are going to know where that is. Motorbikes we've seen laying around the map a few times, knew it was coming. Uh, these transport vehicles, the Humvee, which I've had a sneaky look at, naughty naughty, and uh, this armoured vehicle in the back just look absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at that. Let me just zoom in a little bit and we can get a better look at that. Look at that. Whoops. That just looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to get these vehicles in. Um, wow. Really does look incredible. Emplaced weapons. Oh, look at these down here. As a bonus of the work being done on vehicles, enterable emplaced weapons are made possible and are now being worked on in earnest. Currently we have an emplaced 50 cal whose art has been featured previously in monthly updates. Oh look at this, we've got the RPK mounted up there, we've got the 50 cal, uh, we've even got it mounted down here, absolutely fantastic. These are the sort of weapons, these two especially are the sort of things that I was using in armour, part of the FSG. So this thing will my god it will just smash vehicles to pieces will this thing an absolute beast and i actually really do like the rpk in game and not a lot of people tend to choose it but i really like this weapon art wow so this is part of the russian armed forces that are coming on we've seen a couple of sneaky little shots on twitter but oh my god they just look ace very very cool indeed can't wait to start getting in and playing with some of these other ones and there is uh, some more models coming up in this little update where I was even more excited I mean look at this we're now starting to get radio antennas very very cool love the fact that at the minute a lot of the models look quite generic or the skins we've got at the minute a few of them have got backpacks but there's nothing where they really stand out individually and it looks like this sort of thing is actually coming very nice indeed I don't know if that's a variant of the SVD. I have not seen that version before. Maybe this is something else that's coming as well. Again, very, very cool. Reminds me of Project Reality quite a lot. Militia Forces. Oh, yes. We're announcing the decision to have the militia in as the next faction to be given the player model treatment. Again, awesome. Absolutely brilliant. And we know that Fool's Road is coming. Um, if you don't know what Fool's Road is, I may put a link down or even put some footage in for you to have a look. It's a project reality map that everybody enjoyed. Lots of forestry and all sorts. Great, great map. How cool is that? I cannot wait to run around with. See, you know, we say these things you cannot wait to run around, but of course you don't get to see your own character. But let's put it this way then, seeing the other players running around in this kit is just going to be fucking ace. And I honestly cannot wait to do some really cinematic, cool videos for squad I'm really enjoying it at the minute creating content and uh, i hope you lot enjoy it as well some more there oh my god it just gets better and better and better i was asking the devs saying are we gonna get aeds are we gonna get aeds i was thinking it'd be like claymores roadside bombs and obviously in um, project reality we have the bomb truck which is just it's just ace the blast radius is massive so with the particle effects and everything else that the devs are doing at the minute, it's just going to be amazing. Armour for me, I'll be honest, is dead. 
I'm absolutely armoured out. This game, it's just... Oh, I just I've put on the forums, I feel like doing star jumps. I'm getting like, excited about it. I can't wait. It's just getting better and better with every update. Wow. So we've got, we've got some new assets coming in. A lot of new ground textures and these uh, building parts just to try and break up some of the environment because um, on some of it currently they are a little bit samey but it's Afghanistan you know they all live in mud huts don't they very nice yeah and we can see the uh, pickup truck here as well very nice yes we've even got squad farming and if you didn't know farming simulator 2015 is one of my all-time favorite games up there with the witcher 3 and of course our beautiful squad so farming kit wow let's see if we can get some models in and uh, do some farming I'm a farmers indeed um, very nicely modelled here. Very, very nicely modelled. Fool's Road. The Project Reality Classic Map Fool's Road returns not only with a fresh coat of paint, but dare we say it, an entirely new lease on life. Updated with current generation graphics and top of the line environmental assets, this oldie never looks so good. Wow. Yes, we know this is a, an amazing map and um, these devs are extremely talented. I think that what helps the devs is that they're actual gamers. I think that really, really does help. Yeah. Oh, shooting out of these pillboxes. RPGs flying all over the place. Very, very, very cool. And we've also got another map coming, Chora Green Zone. Wrapping itself around the trickling streams of the Kamegabloor River. The Chora Valley lies approximately three hours north of Kandar along the Bandimar Candy Candy Fliffy Flip Flops. This is our take on a classic Afghan green zone combat map. A warren of fields intersected by canals and overlaid with a maze of roads, Chora will keep the American heads and turrets on a swivel as they try to pacify the insurgent forces by destroying weapons caches or flushing out the endless number of enemy compounds. This 4K by 4K map will be our next step in pushing the capabilities of Unreal Engine 4. Wow. Again, another very, very cool map. Um, I noticed on one of the other maps, this tower here. There's a ladder and we can't go up it. Can you just imagine? I know that lots of people would be putting rally points up there and spawning in. But the ability for a sniper to go up here or even the RPK to look down on this area would be very nice devs. Yeah. Now we're starting to get barbed wire and a few new little assets coming in. Very nice indeed. These uh, three Talibans. Now, are, are they having a foot spa? Are they? <laughs> Is this one of those things where they have the little fish in and they come up and nibble? I always wonder what happened if you put your knob in there. <clears throat> Let's move on. Yeah, beautiful. Very, very nice indeed. Well, we've got another one, Samari Bala. Our next mapping adventure takes us to the mountains near the Afghanistan-Pakistan border to a place called Samari Bala. It's a 2K by 2K map, and it's taken from real-world topography. Wow, so we know that this is going to be quite a realistic-looking village. The US Army will have a forward operating base at the edge of town, and we'll have to clear the village of insurgents, protect the local police station, and destroy enemy weapons caches. Gameplay will involve small and large compounds, marketplaces, narrow roads and valleys, rooftops, shooting positions, irrigation, irrigation, canals and more. The key to survival on this map will be security, ensuring you move as a squad and constantly watch exposed doorways and open windows. Again, very, very nice. You can imagine me blasting the RPK down here, just killing those Yankee doodles. Yeah, very nice. Almost looks like a prison complex here as well. Yeah, very, very nice. We've also got a training range coming. Now, this is going to be very cool. This means we can actually get in here, test out the ranges, the bullet drop, things like that. And they are going to be adding um, weapons ranges for everything else. I have had a sneaky look at this, which I wasn't supposed to, but I managed to find a way to have a sneaky look. And it looks absolutely great. These targets will actually fall down when you hit them and make a beeping noise. So, way down here. It's going to be very difficult unless you're in prone or you're the sniper or marksman class. But I guess that's what this is for, to get in and test out a lot of the things. So that's the end of the October update. Very, very impressed. And we'll have a quick look in this next little section of what they've actually done in the hotfix. 
So here we are, we're on the squad forums, and I'm just going to go through this really quickly in case any of you didn't actually know what was in the hotfix. Now, these guys got this out extremely quickly. I think it was only a couple of two days, three days max um, after the recent update came out that they announced that they were going to do these updates. So let's quickly, really quickly go through these. Fixed shovels not being able to destroy deployable assets. That means that when the enemy are absolutely bunkered in, especially on insurgency mode, you can actually de-shovel their sandbags and the barbed wire and everything else. I mean, you can actually get in and destroy the cash. It was very frustrating for the attackers. They literally couldn't get in, so that's been fixed. Uh, deployables now change state at a third and two thirds of max health. Medic hood now shows when players need bandaging, bandaging when they're incapacitated on the ground. Field dressing and medic bag collisions it was quite difficult yeah because you couldn't heal people when you were laying down some quality of life changes to the player bleeding icon we fixed the community admin not being able to kick players makes a difference to me disabled annoying admin notifications yeah that was popping up a lot on mine uh, various crashes um, what's this uh, let's just go through I did physics to UGL smoke grenade projectiles because at the minute you could literally fire three foot away into somebody's face and it would stay there uh we've got a local uh voip volume in and out of game fix the scoreboard player name sizes so more players will show up on the scoreboard fix grammatical error fix missing weapons cache icons added orange attack and purple defend color code into the insurgency cache map icon for clarity interesting uh that's a good one fix the acog being too dark you literally could not use the acog on the night maps it was it was like you had a pair of sunglasses on very good Fixed a rally point related crash, yep. Yeah. Added display name to game modes, then can be shown to. Da -da -da. Fixed naming on the, uh, yeah, fixed volume slider, added radio filter. Um, fixed audio reverb issues on Kohart. Fixed conquest mode not displaying. Fixed territory control, displaying incorrect team as the winner. <laughs> yeah, genius. <laughs> fixed a number of instances where players could exploit a wall a geometry. That was annoying absolute tools would actually try and push the weapon through the wall getting an invisible uh, barrier sort of thing they could see through and shoot through the walls when they were inside of a compound so absolutely fantastic and great that they've done that so that's really the update i hope you've enjoyed that um game really is moving on at a fast pace now and uh, i just want to thank you all for support and the nice comments on a lot of my videos and i hope to be doing a lot more soon and if you haven't seen my bonfire video you shall find this on YouTube or on the forums. Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplayers. I shall see you on the battlefield, no doubt. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot.